Yesterday, Courtney and I started an eBay store from scratch. Our goal is to generate enough sales so Courtney can make $450 profit per week, which will allow her to quit her part-time job as a barista. So yesterday was a pretty successful day. We were able to tick off a lot of things and really get Courtney up and running. And today, there's a few more little bits and pieces that we need to tick off, but I'm really conscious of Courtney's time. She works two jobs. Um, she doesn't have a lot of it. And I think that's relatable for a lot of you guys out there. She's pretty limited on the time that you can commit to eBay. So what I wanna do today, the first task on the to-do list is to actually just look for something off Facebook Marketplace for a bulk purchase. And if we can find something like that, she can then go ahead and list these items up over the course of the week. And then later in this video, I'm going to check back in at the end of the week and see how she actually went. So let's hope that we can find something for her on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to shoot over there now. Best place for bulk is Facebook Marketplace. We're on Facebook Marketplace right now. And we're just going to look for a category that I've loved to sell in the past. And I still sell it myself today. And we're going to get Courtney into selling some DVDs. After about 10 minutes of searching, we were really lucky to come across this listing. It was two boxes of DVDs and they were for free. So we had to be quick and go and get it. So that was really the perfect pickup because when you're starting out on eBay, you don't want to be spending too much money on stock. So to be able to get all of those items for free, I think is pretty exciting. And we don't really know how much it's worth yet, do we? No. So we're going to do that this afternoon. We're going to go home and actually spend some time scanning it all up, seeing what they're worth. And then pretty much, I think we maybe go with like a $10 minimum um, for, for what's worthwhile. And the rest we're probably just going to donate. But still, the fact that we're able to get in there on Facebook Marketplace and pick that up, for free was very exciting. While we're out, we also set Courtney up with a business bank account. She'll now get a debit card and be able to transact all of her business related expenses on the one card, which makes life a whole lot easier. How'd you go? Good, done. All done? Yeah. Nice. one here the best of Tommy Cooper that one's coming up as our first good allocation of a 2195 there's only one sale so I don't obviously sell through rates not going to be that great but still 2195 somebody bought it out there so surely we can get another sale for us as well here's our next one as well what have you got there 25 18 18 9 6 25 Couple of 18s and a 25, so that one's pretty good as well. It's definitely one of the better ones that we've found. So we're just barcode scanning. We're using the eBay app and we're just scanning that barcode and that's bringing up these sales results. But you can actually get more sales results by doing what Courtney's done there and actually just typing it in as well. So there's two ways. The best way to get the maximum number of sales um, search history is by typing it in. The person that sold it would have had to have sold it by putting in the UPC number, which is that barcode number when they did their original listing. And that's why you're seeing it when you do a barcode search. If they didn't put it in for their original listing, then you're not gonna get it show up here. So always best to type it in. It just takes a little bit longer. All right, we've just finished going through everything and I'm pretty happy with what was a free pickup off Facebook Marketplace. I'm pretty happy with the haul here. Uh, we spoke about these three. They were all going for over $20 each. So that's awesome. These ones here were all sort of eight to $12. Um, some of them are maybe upwards of $15. And there's a couple of group listings that we can do as well, but there's 50 there, 50 listings. Um, and on, on an average of about $10 each, that's 500 bucks. Yeah. $500 that you can list up there, which is awesome. Along with these. So 560 bucks worth of value in this free Facebook Marketplace pickup. I think that's a pretty good little a good little find. Especially um, for like listings, have some stuff. Well, this is the this is the whole point because you'll do three listings a day, yeah. And you'll be able to schedule them out, yeah. You know, fifty three listings. That's that's a that's a couple of weeks, yeah. Which is really really good. So a few weeks worth of listings, all for free, to get Courtney going. Um, that's really really exciting. Now you're probably thinking, how are we going to profit off these DVDs when they're only worth ten to twelve dollars? Well, we had a bit of a win at our local post office when we went in and told them our scenario, and they said that we should go with something like this, which is the C5 Goldcraft envelopes. It means that they go untracked, but all you have to do is put a little stamp on it, and the costs are so much lower. 
So it means you're gonna be able to make a bit of profit selling these DVDs for 10 to $12. I've personally always done tracked postage for $4.50, but that's just not viable when it's a really low average sale price. Um, this is the breakdown here. So it's only $2.40 for any DVD that weighs zero to 125 grams, $3.60 if it's between 125 to 250 grams, and then $6 if it's over that, which it won't be, we'll just put them into a tracked envelope. So basically anything between $2.50 and $3.50 is gonna be our cost now for any of these DVDs that sell. So when you take out that cost and the, uh, the fees associated with eBay, you're still gonna take home $5 profit for a $10 sale. Coffee. It's a free coffee. So I think for you know, starting out an eBay store from scratch to be able to get all these DVDs for free, uh, and know that these postage costs are now gonna be quite low for Courtney. I think it's a pretty good little start because there's no risk to this. It's a zero dollar startup with this haul and Courtney's got a good few weeks of listings with some pretty good profit to be able to be generated. Uh, we also had another win as well. Um, we got Courtney set up on the band three discount with Australia Post as well. Um, so that's gonna be a, a really good sort of 20 to 30% discounted price off the standard rates uh, that Courtney's gonna get as a result of just simply asking behind the counter um, was there any benefits to starting up the Australia Post My Business? So I definitely recommend that you guys do that if you're starting out, just go into your local post office and just simply ask the question. So yeah, big win at the post office. We've got some good stuff. Now it's just a matter of listing up these DVDs and hopefully they go on to sell. So it's really all up to Courtney now. We've been able to set up the game plan for her and it's just a matter of her going ahead and executing. And I wanted to talk a bit about that game plan in this video today for you. If you're just starting out with an eBay store, what are we doing here to best execute as many sales as we could possibly get? And the first thing that we're doing is we're putting coupons on every single one of her listings for a 10% off. And I think it's a really good incentive for a new buyer to come along, see Courtney's store, know that she's a new seller, but still be incentivized by that coupon code of 10% off. So hopefully that gets a few sales for her to come in. The other one as well is that we're doing a same day postage. As a brand new seller, Courtney's not gonna be sitting there posting every single day. So if we do a same day postage model for when a sale does come in, that's gonna provide really good customer service. And in the eyes of eBay, a same day postage means that she will hopefully be promoted with a few more impressions, page views, and ultimately sales as a result of setting up the free postage. The other one as well is the best offer. I'm really getting Courtney to make sure that she's sending off best offers and also accepting best offers for anything between a 10 to 20% off discount. It might sound like a lot at the beginning, but all you're trying to do is get transactions under your belt, practice the postage model setup of how you go about your shipping, and ultimately start to get some really good positive feedback in from your buyers. So that you're letting eBay know that, hey, I'm actually doing the right thing here and I'm fulfilling all my orders on time and correctly. From there, over time, Courtney can become a top rated seller and that's really gonna open up some doors for her to make even more sales. So hopefully those three steps there that we've activated for Courtney's uh, account can allow her to get a bunch of sales in her first week, but we'll just have to wait and see. All right, I'm very excited for this day, guys. We're just gonna check back in with Courtney now and just see how she's gone this week selling on eBay, her first week. Uh, we'll go through the sales numbers. I'll show you her analytics. We'll go into her store details and just have a look to see how well she did. Um, fingers crossed she was able to sell a few of those DVDs and all the other little bits and pieces. But uh, yeah, let's go and find out. Hello. How are you going? Good. How are you? I'm well. Good. Any eBay sales? Yeah, we've got a few. Got a few? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. So you haven't missed a day of listing? No. Three every single day. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. So there it is there. There's your numbers. So you've done $90. You've had six sales. Average sale price is $15, but you've been selling DVDs. So that makes sense. Yeah. Your selling costs are $13. So that's, that's pretty standard. 15% is kind of what you would count for fees. Uh, and then you've been selling, yeah, books and DVDs to make up the, the allotment. Are two, you happy with that? Two books. Two books, yeah. Two books and four DVDs. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's really good. First week. First week, starting from scratch, and you've had six sales in seven days. And then I've scheduled for next week. Yep, you've scheduled another four days worth of active listings. So you've got them all here. So you've got three watches on your items. 
and you've got 17 active listings in your store. Mm -hmm. All these listings are looking really good from a title perspective as well. Mm -hmm. DVDs look really good too. And I mean, the average sale price, so all, you got all those 895s that we looked at yeah. as well, those cheap ones. But yeah, how'd you go with the envelope? The Yeah, good. So easy. Just put the stamp on it. Yep. Do the weights. Yeah. I think I had two with two stamps, one with three. One with three stamps. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, it's a pretty good start. Courtney's obviously just been doing her three listings a day. And to be able to get six sales in seven days, I didn't anticipate that she would have six sales. So that's really exciting to see. Average sale price is only $15, but we really can't ask for more because that's kind of all we've been putting into eBay. Um, so the fact that she's got 17 active, it means that she's sold six out of 23 listings. So if you're putting in like four or five listings a day, that number's only gonna keep going up. But remember, sales aren't the most important aspect when you're first starting out. What you're actually trying to do is just build a store size. You wanna to get to 200, 300, if you can, 500 listings into your store. And then from there, naturally your sales are just gonna happen. So while I'm really happy that Courtney's got six sales in her eBay store, I'm actually more happy that she's got basically no miss of day. She's listed her three items every single day. Uh, and she's hitting a streak, which is now seeing a streak of sales. She's had three days in a row worth of selling. Um, so that, that pretty impressive numbers. Yeah. All right, the other thing that I want to have a bit of a look at is Courtney's entire business numbers. So the sales are great. There's $90 in there, but just reflecting that on true profit, I think is a really important step for beginners out there. Last week in the first video that we put out, we actually created a bit of a basic spreadsheet where it just showed income and expense. Um, we've got a bit of an updated version here, which is really cool to see because Courtney's maintained all of her sales data. Whenever she sold something, she's put it into the spreadsheet as she should. And you can see here that she's got her six sales listed. Obviously the bundled DVDs on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, she's got three different sales that have gone in there, a $10, an $8.95 and another $8.95. Um, so what that means is she's been able to sell $90, postage costs worked out to $37.99, and then she had her fees taken out from eBay at $13.87. So, she spent $24.50 on all of her items, but she's actually made a total profit take home after fees and postage of $37.94 in your very first week. I did. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You've got $38 in your money, true profit. Yeah. Um, so that's really exciting. We do obviously have expenses though. Um, and with those Australia Post envelopes and the stamps that we put in, this is what we bought in the first episode of this series. And then since then this week, Courtney's bought envelopes for $135 worth. So she spent $195. That's pretty exciting. And if you just keep updating this, I think it's a really crucial step for you guys out there to just maintain a spreadsheet rather than looking at your eBay data, which is only gonna show you the top line numbers of revenue. You wanna have a spreadsheet like this that really breaks down to see that, hey, I sold this medical medium book I had it listed and sold for $35.95, but I actually only made $19.78 in profit. That's a very important step that a lot of people just starting out won't get their head around. So a spreadsheet like this is really crucial to get yourself going. So um, yeah, awesome numbers and I can't wait to see it grow over the next few weeks. dollars to spend from the profit on ebay um i'm working obviously still with the coffee shop and with matt as well so i whatever i make in profit from ebay i want to reinvest into buying more stock to list um so that's what we're going to go do now is go thrifting with the 38 um let's see what we find hopefully we find some good stuff i'm going to turn this 38 dollars into 400 dollars. amazing <laughs> fingers crossed hopefully <laughs> Right, the plan of attack is to try and find an average sale price that's maybe 30, 40, 50 dollars and get away from these cheap DVD listings that we've been putting up. So we're here at the first thrift store and hopefully we can find one or two of those items. Remember though, we've only got that 40 bucks to play with. Just found these, the New Balance 880s. And they're $12, the sole still has plenty of wear left in them. Courtney's just having a bit of a look at the price and there's some good comps on them. Yeah. Let's give it a go. We'll hold that and we'll keep having a look around, but they are in, <laughs> wow. We're having a day. 
We're having a day. Yeah, take them with you and we'll see what else we can grab. It's in the news. Hey, mate. How you going? You all right? You all right? They like you. What is that, friend? Nike. Nike. That Nike reacts. Do they? It looks like a kid's shoe. Eight dollars. Well done. That's a big win. That's a kid's shoe, dude. Uh, it's a five youth. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. We can work with that. How much are they? Oh, don't worry about it. We'll just do it. Put the comps up on screen for the viewers, but that's and you. But that's a win. That's probably fifty. It's it's the souls that are the best. And they're only eight dollars. We got away with one there. A lot of sense. Crazy. You found you found a good one here, Courtney. These are the Inov Eights, another Rocklight Two Nine Fives. There was a comp on eBay for this shoe for seventy five dollars. I'm not saying that you'll get seventy five for it. Yeah, it's only a four dollar purchase, and I think I think you probably get about fifty. But given the comps, it'll be a slow sell through rate. But still, you can hold out for maybe a forty dollar sale price. Yeah. So there you go. Thank you. Put them under your arm. Oh, this might be right. Yeah, this Untamed. We need a nickname for you, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need the viewers to come up with a nickname. Little little bookworm at the moment. As soon as she comes into the op shop, she just runs across to the books. From three. Three and a twenty. Yeah, let us know in the comments what we should um what we should nickname Courtney. I call I actually already got one. You're the yeah. chief. You're the chief. Oh yeah, yeah, You're the chief. Chief Courtney. Chief uh, Claudie. No, come up with a better one. Ooh, this one. All right, so you're gonna go with this. How much did you say that was? That was twenty. Twenty. Cool. And you're paying three. Yep. And then you're gonna get these shoes for four, so you've only got eight dollars left. Eight dollars left. All right. Oh, I've got to go. My car's run out. I've got to find. You got to find. We don't want fines. <laughs> Might cost you eight dollars. Eighty. Eighty. Yeah. All right, Courtney's little thrift haul. It's been a good day. What have you got? Yeah, so what I have, $38 is budget. Yep. We spent 31. 31. Spent Not too bad. Um, on two books, which were, I think, two and two, for, they both turned into 20. $20 each. It was only two as well to 20. 20 on the DVD. Um, how much have I got eight? Uh, 12. 12. Then you about 50. You yeah, I think about 50 on them based on the comps. Yeah. And then these would also be about 50 and we paid 8. That's awesome. They they are awesome. And then these. Yeah, those as well. Are, but 4 to maybe like 45-ish. Yep. These are my favourite. Are your favourite? Yeah. The 270 Reacts. 270 Reacts. They are probably the highest valued item that you've got. Quickest sell-through. And I reckon quickest sell-through because of that. Yeah. So when you add all that up, you've got say 50, 50, 100, 140 plus 60, that's $200. And that's at the moment doing three, two days. Yeah, so that's two days worth of listings. So you got two days worth of listings and $200 to add into your store and you only had to pay 30 bucks. It's a budget. Yeah. Well done. So a really cool bunch of thrift finds for Courtney to be able to now list up for some profit on eBay. This is actually episode two of what will be a six part video series. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you're interested in how this one plays out. I think Courtney's gonna be able to build up to this 450 bucks in profit. I'll leave you with episode one right here if you missed it. Appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you soon.